I know that you and I through social media kind of shared some frustration about I have to bring up, especially being in a climate where the last couple of years have been jarring for Asian Americans. As you well know, I'm dealing with just a slew of things with the Asian American community here in Florida, fighting for, you know, some inclusion uh, with our education system. And it's just been it's just been a constant battle. And it's finally a a conversation that has been brought into the mainstream and not just something that's discussed privately amongst friends or in family or in smaller circles. It's finally a discussion that is nationwide. And I'm grateful for that, uh, that we are able to have these discussions. But uh, there's a, you know, resounding um, presence of Asian Americans in figure skating. And that was pointed out by the New York Times. And I had to comment. Like, I just couldn't help myself. I had to comment. And, you know, and I like being questioned because Oscar will question me and say, well, you know, why do you think that? Or why is that? And and the word was overrepresented, right? They said Asian American Asians are overrepresented in American, you know, in, in, in the U S figure skating. And I flipped, I flipped, I lost it, you know, and he, and he asked me to explain. And so my explanation was just the use of the word, right? Like journalists, their freaking job is to write and they should be intentional with their words and they should know which ones to pick because that's their job as a journalist. In my opinion, I'm not a writer. I don't come up with the right vocabulary all the time, but I do know the word overrepresented was the wrong word to have used there. Right. Because I said to Oscar, well, a lot of people on Twitter have made a really good point. Like, would you say black Americans are overrepresented in the NFL or, or basketball? And he's like, well, they are, dominant. I said, exactly. Okay. You could say they're highly or like very dominant or prevalent. Um, just sta- make, that's a statement, right? That, Hey, a lot of Asian Americans are ice skaters to say they're overrepresented. It implies one that, uh, there shouldn't be that many of them. And then two, it even implies that Asian Americans aren't necessarily American, which is exactly what we've been trying to combat this last, especially these last few years. And so, like you said, all these people like to point these things out and I don't care about those social media trolls and those people who who are not athletes and not doing anything and just sit there and criticize. But I feel the responsibility and you as a journalist, as a writer, as somebody who knows what that means and when you're taken out of context and I get it and sometimes you make mistakes and and I'm not, I'm not you know, ready to just crucify everybody on what they say all the time. But especially in this climate, I thought it was super insensitive and I was really upset. And I'm not a sensitive person. I'm not like, oh, you have to say everything just right all the time. But I was really irritated by that. So I <laughs> just thought I'd bring it up. And and I thought justifiably so. I mean, it, that, that headline pissed me off as well. Um, journalists, I mean, journalists, I think probably perhaps more so than almost anyone else in this country have a unique kind of power. And I think there's a disrespect or a disregard for that power. And that power is based on the sanctity of the written spoken word. Now, we as a society, I don't know for how many years now have gotten into the phrase of like, oh yeah, 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 same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Semantics matter. The word choices that we use matter. So like it becomes very easy to, get dismissive and say, oh, you're overacting. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. As a, as a, as a shirk off to just sort of say like, oh, just shirk off the responsibility for what we said or what we did or what we wrote. But the writer who put that out saying that like, we're like, like we have some sort of excess, like an excess means that there's a problem. It's a negative, right? To say a certain group is dominant. It sounds positive. There's a positive spin on it. If you're trying to communicate something that says like, okay, um, we have these, we have an excess of grain, we have an excess of food, we have an excess of this or that or the other. Like, usually that means that there's some sort of imbalance that needs to be just like somehow rectified. And so like, if if the person is trying to, to sound that sort of like dog whistle that um, they're, they, they want less Asian Americans in whatever, or less of a particular group, like saying like, oh, there's a, like an excess of African-Americans in the NFL. What kind of stupid shit? Like, I mean, to me, anyone that's going to play that game is inherently trying to be sneaky or underhanded or dishonest or unethical. 
And if they say, oh, well, I didn't mean it that way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see the kind of person you are. I see the kind of game you're trying to play, but you are just that low, that uncool, that like dishonest, that, you know, you don't deserve your position. You don't deserve that kind of power over the written word. Yeah. And so for for uh, a major news outlet to play stuff like that, and I think WAPO also, Washington Post also put in something as well that that was somehow chafing um, recently. As yeah, well. it was I'm, about I'm, are you st- how to, oh, I can pull it up for you right now. But basically the implication was how dare Asians ask you to remove your shoes. <laughs> but it was like how to avoid, um, you know, having that conversation or why do, why do, why do we have to remove our shoes was the implication. I mean, and, and again, I, I, I'm going to post that here so people can see those articles. And I mean, my, I mean, it's just, yeah, I, I got irritated in that too. Cause I was kind of like, oh, okay, well, one, it's just freaking clean <laughs> like to not wear your shoes in the house. But but it's just it also was a cultural attack. Right. And here's yeah. the thing. If we do not get upset about it, then it's a problem. Right. Because because we finally decided to speak out about things, there are things that are changing. There are states that have included Asian American history now so kids can learn. Right. There are things that are happening because we're not just saying, well, they didn't mean that, right? So on one hand, I am not about flipping out every time someone like kind of offends me or says something and didn't mean to, I I get the difference, right? I'm not that sensitive, but at the same time, if I didn't react and if I didn't um, feel what I felt, I wouldn't also be taking action, right? Because now things are are in motion. There's movements happening because we're just not going to take it anymore. And I think that's, I think it's an important thing. 